I would like to welcome everyone to this year's Hannah Arendt Conference here at Bard College. Uh, I'm Leon Botstein, the president of Bard, and uh, I am deeply honored to have the opportunity to open the conference and welcome you all. I wish I could be there in person, but I am in Europe at a board meeting of the Central European University, one of our partners in the Open Society University Network, OSUN, which has played a part in uh, developing this conference. Uh, I want uh, to say that the conferences over the years uh, that have been organized by the Hannah Arendt Center here at Bard have been the highlights of the academic calendar. The fact that the conference is being held this year uh, in person and not on a virtual platform is an optimistic sign of a return gradually to a more normal conduct of politics and cultural life and civic life uh, in general. Uh, and uh, it is a very important step uh, toward the very issue of this conference, which is the revitalization of democracy. The um, legacy of Hannah Arendt uh, is often focused on her discussion of the public realm, of her perhaps idealized vision of what politics involves, which is an interaction uh, between and among people in public spaces. And that is uh, a form of communication through speech, uh, which has an immediate interaction of people being in the same space, uh, practically and symbolically, recognizing their common allegiance uh, to life in a shared uh, realm uh, and uh, on a single planet, and therefore um, having comparable, if not shared, uh, existential concerns. And uh, the, um, the notion of being a citizen uh, is that one is active with one's fellow citizens, not out of a point of isolation, uh, through a screen and a camera, but actually as a member of uh, several communities uh, interacting uh, with common concerns. The pandemic, and certainly the politics of the last five or six years, has made us very alert to uh, finding ways to make democracy real. And the idea of revitalizing democracy also involves the prospect of creating democracy in the contemporary world as we um, negotiate uh, the real conditions in which um, we have to try to create a space for freedom, for autonomy, uh, for justice, and for equality. The subject of the conference, uh, which includes, among other things, uh, the notion of spaces for freedom and also the participation of citizens, uh, the subject of the um, conference is in some sense Arendtian, but I don't think it's limited uh, to her vision. Uh, I see her more as having started a conversation, influenced in part by a concern of how in the modern world, with modern technology, with modern conveniences, uh, with a modern economic system of various kinds, we can actually realize the idea of democracy and the practice of democracy. And the notion of space is crucial. I'm pleased that there will be uh, a theatrical performance uh, and that uh, as a musician, I've always thought that the theater, uh, the concert hall, uh, the gathering spaces outside and indoors, not only for conversation and political debate, but for shared experiences, not as individuals in isolation, uh, listening to one's uh, handheld device or listening over a computer or communicating uh, through machines, but actually as part of a group uh, that uh, has a common interest in the experience of uh, the performing arts, the visual arts, the museum, uh, the exhibition hall, uh, the theater, and the concert hall, that these are vital uh, to a functioning democracy and to a notion of freedom, particularly freedom of expression. So I think that um, 
this conference uh, is vitally important because it is part of an absolutely indispensable conversation. How are we going to adapt uh, to a world that has a huge technological component uh, that includes our dependency on uh, machines and modes of communication, how are we going to create a democracy when in fact there are large both public and private entities that um, gather information about us, that uh, obliterate uh, what we once might have considered the proper boundaries of privacy, that actually can uh, engage in surveillance and uh, even very sophisticated uh, manipulation of uh, our own thinking processes. And dear to Arendt was the possibility of, of thinking for oneself. And uh, oddly enough, there's a dialectic between the capacity to think as an individual and also to be part of a group and to exchange ideas in real time and real place. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it is how important that sense of public shared space is for any notion of a functioning uh, system of politics that values freedom and uh, the capacity for individuals to have an influence uh, in the future of the world in which they live. I think it is particularly notable that at this conference there will be a group of high school age students uh, at the many barred high school early colleges in this country who are coming to the conference so that we have not only um, a wide diversity of participants, but a wide age spectrum. And uh, I'm glad that OSUN, the Open Society University Network, has been able to uh, make that possible. And um, as the Chancellor of OSUN, I'm also very pleased that we have participants, albeit virtually, from Serbia and from other parts of the world that um, uh, can engage in this conference uh, through the um, newly created network of the Open Society University. Uh, and uh, it is um, appropriate that this um, first appearance uh, of Osun uh, as part of the Hannah Arendt Center's conference um, comes with the subject of uh, trying to invent and create uh, a democratic uh, future for all of us. I want to take uh, this opportunity to uh, thank uh, members of the Fisher Center here at Bard, uh, the National Endowment for the Humanities, and um, uh, last but not least, all of my colleagues uh, here at the college and at the Hannah Arendt Center. Uh, but the uh, lion's share of the credit goes to Roger Berkowitz, the head of the center, uh, and who has done a magnificent job in uh, making the Hannah Arendt Center an important uh, platform and forum for the debate uh, over the significant issues of our time. So without further ado, uh, it's my pleasure to turn the proceedings over to Roger Berkowitz. I wish everyone an excellent and productive time at this conference and welcome to BARD.